Chad Rowe with Ready at Dawn Studios, here to introduce photo mode for the Order 1886. First thing you'll need to do is enable photo mode, hit the option button to open up the pause menu, navigate to photo mode, and then turn it on. Once on, you can enter or exit by pressing the touchpad. Now let's do something cool. You'll start on the tab that allows you to fly the camera around. Use the two analog sticks to fly around and the D-pad to crane and roll. If you hold down L2, it'll slow down any inputs you're doing while holding down R2 will speed them up. L1 and R1 cycle through the different tab options. Our focal length tries to emulate real lenses, so your choice here will affect up the field. We have an autofocus feature that can be used while flying the camera around. Simply click L3 to autofocus. We also have a tab for fine-tuning depth of field. Color grading lets you choose from many presets. We'll only be showing a few here. Let's see if I can find my favorite. Here it is. You can adjust the intensity if it's too strong. The next tab allows you to adjust brightness as well as lens flare. Adjust the vignetting as desired. Adjust film grain. Let's bring it down a little bit. Lock color grain. Let's save the best for last. Motion blur defaults to off, but you can turn it on if you like. Hide characters if you're going to be focusing on an environment shot. You can also hide enemies or friendlies or everyone. When you're ready to take a screenshot, hide the UI using the triangle button, and then hit the share button to share your photo. All right, remember the lock grading tab? Let's turn that on. Now, when you exit photo mode, any preset that you had turned on previously will stay on for the entire game. Here are some other examples of photo mode in action. Galahad, your command. Thanks for watching this tutorial, and I hope you have an amazing time taking pictures and playing the Order 1886 with photo mode. PlayStation.